and what can you expect from second-hand copies? A deliberately angular body with round eyes of the front optics and a silver edging of the radiator grille, which instead of the corporate emblem is crowned with the Toyota inscription, and orange turn signals are framed on the sides, in these features of the retrospective appearance of the FJ Cruiser, connoisseurs and admirers of the Japanese brand easily recognize the image of the legendary FJ40 model, and in the early 60s, which formed a positive image in the automotive world of Toyota's all terrain and hardy off-road vehicles. The rough appearance of the hero of our material is designed to emphasize that this car is not afraid of even serious obstacles on the way. The FJ Cruiser is built on the Toyota Prado platform, the main components and assemblies were borrowed from it. Initially, the car was focused on the American market, but later it began to be offered also for Eastern countries. Officially, FJ Cruiser was not sold with us, all cars available in Ukraine came to us through great dealers. Most are Americans, Arabs are less common. Outwardly, the FJ Cruiser from the States can be distinguished by the presence of a roof rack and small daytime running lights in the side mirrors, and inside, by the instrument panel, digitized in miles, and the absence of a dead zone sector in the left exterior mirror. The car was offered in two versions, the more expensive one can be easily identified by the presence of additional devices at the top of the dashboard and an audio system with a six-disc CD changer and a standard subwoofer in the trunk. Cheap versions should be criticized for poor soundproofing. But the interior equipment of all FJ Cruisers is Japanese-style reliable and trouble-free. When creating the FJ Cruiser, designers were inspired by the Toyota FJ40 SUV, 1960-1984. A proprietary grille with round headlights and orange turn signals on the sides, branded, blue and yellow, body colors. The interior is decorated in the Spartan style of the legendary FJ40. The plastic of the panels is hard, but non-creaky. Visibility is unimportant, and the sound insulation of simpler versions is rather weak. The rear axle of expensive versions is blocked forcibly. Despite its coupe-like appearance, the FJ Cruiser is a five-door SUV, its camouflage rear doors swing backwards against the direction of travel. According to the mechanics, this design feature did not negatively affect reliability. The door mechanisms work properly for the entire life of the car. Unless the absence of the central pillars over time provokes the appearance of unnecessary noise, see weaknesses. It is not for nothing that we applied the word coupe shaped to this model. In addition to external similarity, there is a common thing in the spaciousness of the cabin there is little legroom for passengers in the back seat. A feature of the FJ Cruiser is that the rear short doors open against the direction of travel, and this can only be done by opening the front doors first. There is not much legroom in the gallery, but passengers of average height are quite enough. The FJ Cruiser has tanky visibility that takes some getting used to. It is limited by a narrow windshield and a roof hanging over it. Due to this, it is difficult to read high traffic lights, a wide rear pillar a high line of side windows and a spare tire hung on the tailgate. The convenience of using the trunk increases the glass that opens separately from the door, you can throw light luggage through it. The FJ Cruiser's 790-1890 liter trunk is average compared to the competition, for example, 835-1575 liters for the Hummer H3 and 1310-2320 liters for the five-door Jeep Wrangler. Convenience is facilitated by a flat cargo area which is obtained by folding the rear seats. For the FJ Cruiser, the only power unit offered is borrowed from the sister Prado, a 4.0-liter gasoline V6. In principle, there is no choice of transmission options. The lion's share of cars on the Ukrainian market is equipped with an automatic gearbox with a forced all-wheel drive. Versions with mechanics and permanent all-wheel drive are rare. FJ Cruiser's visibility is limited by a spare wheel mounted on the tailgate, a wide rear pillar a high line of side windows, a narrow windshield and a roof overhanging it. Buyers can only be pleased that the FJ Cruiser, which is operated as a rear-wheel drive in normal modes, is more economical than the 4.0-liter Prado equipped with permanent all-wheel drive, it can fit into the consumption of 14 to 15 liters per 100 against 17 to 18 liters, respectively. By the way, in 2010, the FJ Cruiser engine became more powerful by 22 horses, already giving out 264 HP to the mount, with an important advantage of the FJ Cruiser units is high reliability. As domestic operating experience has shown, no characteristic weaknesses have been identified in them. Unless during active off-road operation with overcoming deep fords, the attachment belt tensioner pulley does not last long, 
the characteristic whistle will report this when the engine is running. And with the civilian ride, he is able to go about 200,000 kilometers. The belt can withstand about 100,000 kilometers. In addition, Minders drew attention to the need for regular, every 20 to 30,000 kilometers, cleaning of injectors. Fuel injector contamination is manifested by unstable idling. Power units are not particularly demanding for maintenance either. A durable metal chain is used in their timing. On the road, like at home, we have already mentioned that most FJ cruisers are with all-wheel drive. The front axle is activated by the transfer lever using the clutch servo. Expensive versions are equipped with a rear axle lock, while for simpler ones it is imitated by the ESP system electronics, which slows down the slipping wheels, one or more of the four. The owners of the FJ Cruiser really appreciate it for its high off-road qualities. The cross-country ability of this model is simply impressive. FJ Cruiser, like its legendary progenitor, is distinguished by high cross-country ability. This is facilitated by downshifting and interwheel diff locks, a ground clearance of 220 mm and short body overhangs. In general, the transmission has proven itself to be reliable, except that with careless off-road driving, there were frequent cases of breakage in the electrical wiring of the front axle coupling. By the way, all-wheel drive may not work due to a breakdown in the system for suctioning gasoline vapors from the tank. The automatic gearbox also proved to be durable in off-road tests. True, for durable and trouble-free operation, one must not forget to service the transmission every 40,000 kilometers, change the lubricant in the gearbox, transfer case, and rear axle. The chassis of the FJ Cruiser is similar to its sister Prado. An independent double wishbone suspension is used in front, and a powerful solid axle in the rear. However, it is set up differently, unlike the Prado, which rolls and nods unpleasantly during active cornering and heavy braking. The FJ Cruiser is more stable although its suspension is also energy intensive. The rear axle is a reliable and strong assembly, the rubber bands of its fastening rods have not yet had to be changed. The weak point of the front end is wheel bearings. The right one serves the least, 60 to 70,000 kilometers, and the left one is able to hold out for about 100,000 kilometers. An important condition for replacing them is the mandatory renewal of the seals of the outer, grenades, otherwise the new bearing does not come out for a long time. Often, every 60 to 70,000 kilometers, stabilizer bushings are also changed. At the same time, the ball bearings can last about 150,000 kilometers, and the silent blocks of the levers, as a rule, have to be changed due to the souring of the adjusting eccentrics in them and the inability to set the camber of the front wheels. In order not to have problems with each such adjustment, it is recommended to lubricate the eccentrics. The steering is equipped with a variable power steering. The weak point is the tie rods, which on our roads have to be changed on average every 60 to 70,000 kilometers. At the same time, the disease characteristic of Prado is not inherent in the FJ Cruiser node, in which, by 80 to 100,000 kilometers, the steering shaft cardan often begins to knock. Since a powerful power unit allows you to drive quite actively, fans of fast driving often deform the front brake discs. In addition, to avoid problems with the parking brake, driven by a separate drum mechanism, mechanics advise cleaning and lubricating it every 40,000 kilometers. Over time, the body in the FJ Cruiser cracks in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200B the extreme front frame supports. This is typical for cars until 2010 that drive off-road or with heavy kangaroo Due to salty winter roads, the paintwork of branded alloy wheels becomes unusable, clambers. Due to the lack of central pillars of the body, the doors on the seals begin to creak over time. Solve the problem by impregnating rubber products with silicone lubricants. The gasoline vapor absorber of a car until 2009 fails if the owner refuels under the neck. His refusal is accompanied by an alarming inscription check engine. 